Hola, soy la doctora Judy Mirchaitis y soy psicóloga. My name is Dr. Judy Mirchaitis and I am a clinical psychologist at the Nashville OCD and Anxiety Treatment Center. What made me want to first become a therapist, um, I decided very early on, I was lucky that my very first course in psychology, sophomore year of high school, I decided then that I wanted to be a clinical psychologist and I have not looked back and after many years of schooling have achieved that goal. Um, my heritage absolutely influenced my decision to become a psychologist and has also influenced what I have done in my journey to become a psychologist. So I am the daughter of two Mexican immigrant parents, the first generation born in the US and the oldest in my family as well. Um, and so I grew up very bicultural. I was constantly observing people's behavior at home versus what behavior at school and social settings to know what I was supposed to be doing and to be able to culture switch. And so that very much influenced my understanding and interest in behavior. Also being bilingual in English and Spanish has really um, influenced what I do in my clinical work and in my research. So my research has been all primarily on the Latinx population and in my clinical work, I really enjoy providing services in Spanish and see my future as having a large portion of my practice be in Spanish. I do think that my heritage can help me connect with patients when there are similarities. I don't know that there's something inherent about it that makes me, um, makes it more easy to connect. Um, but when there are similarities, whether it be uh, their Latinx as well, or even if they're, um, immigrants themselves or children of immigrants, I can relate to that experience and and connect with them in that way. I think it also generally has, my heritage in being bicultural has helped me in seeing different perspectives and having more compassion um, for people who are my, have minoritized identities in other ways as well. What I have seen in my patients in terms of biggest obstacles in seeking treatment for OCD, first and foremost is recognizing that it is OCD. Um, it's not as well understood generally, right, in the general population, but then you add to that in the Latinx population, certainly at least in the US, um, there's a lot less known about it within the community. And so the first barrier is just recognizing that this is OCD. And then the next barrier is knowing to go to an OCD specialist who provides the evidence-based treatment for OCD. And then once you do know, then there's the barrier of finding an adequate OCD provider who um, is in your area, who, you know, potentially if somebody speaks another language that speaks your language. Um, and so those are the biggest barriers that I have seen. I will add to that um, obstacles for treatment in OCD for the Latinx population that I've seen are the cost of treatment, which it can certainly be costly, um, as, well, as well as working around busy schedules. And so um, what I have seen a lot of is really busy work schedules that are difficult to find times outside of work hours to meet with a therapist and, and also prioritizing therapy over work, which tends to be very valued in the Latinx community. In terms of protective or positive factors for my Latinx clients, I would say that family support can be the biggest one. Um, the Latinx population tends to have very close family ties and a lot of family support and support, I think really in any mental health journey can be very helpful um, and an OCD that's no different. I think Latinx heritage could potentially influence OCD symptoms. I wouldn't say that I have seen it um, a lot or consistently. However, it's important to remember that OCD targets often what the individual values. And so if there is something within the Latino culture that somebody values, then it might be likely to target that. So that could be something like 
family, something like religion, something like parenting, anything like that. I think psychoeducation is very important. Psychoeducation for family members of those suffering with OCD is very important because of the closeness with the family that we often see in the Latinx community. And so um, I do often try to include family in the psychoeducation portion, um, particularly to discuss not only a bigger understanding and help break down some stigma, but to also discuss accommodations and how a family member's well-intended, often um, behavior can be exacerbating symptoms or maintaining symptoms. And so, yeah, I see it as very important. I think something specific to the culture that can be helpful to address as well in that psychoeducation um, in breaking down stigma is really emphasizing that thoughts themselves are not sinful or don't have some particular meaning or are not reflective of what that individual wants or values that thoughts can just be thoughts which we talk about all the time in OCD generally but I think particularly um, in this population that can be an important thing to emphasize for family members. The other thing that I have found helpful to address when talking with family members is to recognize any potential acculturation gaps so um, it's not uncommon in particular for youth and adolescents who are in a similar position as me potentially first generation U.S. born and parents are um, are immigrants where the parents may perceive that the child is doing something that's just straying away from their heritage culture and that's what's causing the problems and there can be other conflict that comes with acculturation gaps as well including you know potentially not using the same language or being in very different social settings um, and so those are things that I, I always find are important to recognize and address. I think it's very important when trying to reach the Latinx community to increase OCD awareness to recognize that we cannot fully depend on individuals self-diagnosing and presenting to specialty clinics on their own. And so it's so important to look to community partners that are already trusted to be able to disseminate information to um, put your name out in the community to look for individuals who would benefit from treatment. And so that might be something like a trusted news station. Um, it could be something like a community center. Um, it could be religious leaders. Um, it might be a medical clinic that is already well known and trusted within the community. Um, so I think those things are very important as well as making information available in different languages. Um, I think that can do a lot to reach the Latinx community. My hope for the future of OCD treatment and awareness in the Latinx community is to have recognition of the word TOC the same way that we recognize la depresión or even ansiedad or pánico. We certainly have a long ways to go in those areas as well, and they're a lot more well recognized now compared to OCD. And so I would love to see a world where the Latinx community can identify symptoms of OCD as easily as they can depression, for example. I would also love to see an increasing number of Latinx providers who are providing evidence-based therapy for OCD in a variety of languages.